Chances are you've probably heard of routing and may have even noticed that I made a video about it a while ago. If you don't know what it is, it is basically the Android equivalent of jailbreaking or basically allowing your phone to access the phone's main root files and change things at that level. It allows you to do even more with your already pretty open operating system. If you want to see how to root your device, click on the little eye that should be, I think, on this side or, no, I think this side, up here somewhere. It depends on what device you're using and stuff, but click on that or click on the link down in the description and you'll see that I've got a video on how to root your device. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you my top five things that you can do when you do root your phone. So number one is backing up your phone. Yes, Android's got an improved backup solution in Android Lollipop. But with apps such as Titanium Backup, you can back up absolutely everything on your phone and even save a copy of it up to your cloud storage service. So you can pull it down in, on another phone. Although, just so you know, you do have to pay for the cloud feature. Number two is customize to your heart's content. Now I don't really have this issue that much because I've got a OnePlus One and you other OnePlus One users are probably gonna be thinking the same thing too. But on lots of Android phones, um, the phone manufacturers don't actually let you customize that much on your phone, just out of the box and unrooted. And by customization, I'm talking about adding options to the power menu, changing your lock screen shortcuts, and changing your notification light colors. Yes, I know you OnePlus One users have this already, but that's because you are already using a custom ROM that just came pre-installed on the phone, and that's Cyanogen Mods. And this is actually a ROM that people would usually have to flash to their phones once they've rooted it. And that actually brings me on to number three, which is custom ROMs and kernels. So as I said, we OnePlus One users already get extra features because we essentially already have a custom ROM, Cyanogen Mod. And that's essentially what different custom ROMs allow you to do. They just add features to the phone and they allow you to customize a whole load of different things. When you root your phone, you can get pretty much any ROM you want. Some are even built to top Cyanogen Mod to give you even more features on top of what Cyanogen Mod offers such as being able to control your phone's brightness by swiping the status bar at the top, giving you navigation rings when you're using hardware buttons and a whole lot more. I'll leave some of my favourite ROMs down in the description down below and I'll also leave um, a guide on how to flash a new ROM once you already have a ROM down in the description too. But one of the best things about custom ROMs is number 4, that the developers usually do a good job at keeping it up to date with the latest version of Android. And if they don't, you can just find another ROM that is updated and use it instead. You'll get to try out the newest version of Android earlier than people who aren't rooted and you're not going to have that same problem of your phone not being supported and the fact that it's not going to be updated because there's always a custom ROM out there for you to get and you no longer have to wait for your phone's company to update um, the software for you. Boy, it's not good waiting for phone manufacturers to do it, they are really slow. And talking about slow and number five, do you know what really slows down the amount of time it takes you to fill up your phone's storage and the amount of times it takes you to get stressed looking for apps? Well, bloatware. So what bloatware basically is, is it's just pre-installed apps that are pretty much useless and you're never going to use, but the phone manufacturers don't let you uninstall them. Well, that's supposing that you're not rooted anyway. Rooted phones can remove the bloatware through apps such as Titanium Backup that I mentioned earlier. So that's about it, those are my 5 reasons why I think you should root your phone and why I think you'll benefit from rooting. If you think I'm completely wrong, if you have any other features that you like or you just want to leave me a comment, be sure to leave it down below in the comment section. And if you like this video be sure to give it a like, be sure to comment as I said and be sure to subscribe to see more um, technology videos like this as well as other top 5s. And I'll see you next time where we're going to discover something else new about our devices. Bye.